Dan Passarelli, a market taker mentoring, joins me now for a closer look at the trade on Friday. Good to have you here. Great to be here. So the biggest economic data coming into the market, the consumer price index. Will it be a market mover, do you think? Uh, I, I think it'll, if anything, have a very small effect. Now, this is a big deal. It is an options expiration day. What would that mean to the market? Yeah, options expiration days are always big days. I mean, uh, the floor traders here who have gamma positions, especially positive gamma positions, you know, you can often see they're, they're hedging, you know, and, and buying when the stock falls a little bit and selling when the stock rises a little bit. So you see what we refer to as pinning, which is when the, the stock ends up going towards the strike price. And uh, there is statistical evidence that, that that does happen, and that's why, because of the floor traders. Right. So, traders want to pick a point where they think the market will end by the end of this trading day, and that's they're pinning their number, correct? Yeah, that's, that's basically it. And, and it's really just naturally through the hedging process. It just kind of happens automatically by traders basically just trying to not lose money and trade responsibly. That's always a good idea. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Anything you'd be buying or selling in this market? Uh, what I'm doing right now is I'm picking my spots. Okay. Um, I, I've picked up a little bit of oil over the past couple of weeks uh, with the USO uh, ETF. Sure. Um, holding that for possibly some of it for the short term, some of it for the long term. I uh, did that through selling puts so that I was able to buy it at a lower price than where the market was trading at the time that I put that trade on. Nice. And uh, then just looking for opportunities to, w during rallies, rate calls on both USO and uh, my SPY positions. Good to have you here. Thank you. Have a good trading day. Great to be here.